Previously on Stupid Beagle Reviews. I'm trying to work up the courage to rent over the north. I'm not doing good. I'm worried about this. I am very worried about this, actually. This movie is trash. I feel like I'm stupider. I feel like I am legitimately dumber after watching this movie. That's what this movie did to me. And I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago. Why is it every time I see a terrible movie, I just have to shoot myself in the head? Why do I do that? Hmm. Well, how about I just never watch a bad movie again in my life? How about... That's a good plan. I mean, like, all my problems have been caused by me watching bad movies recently. So, I just will just never watch a bad movie again. That's a good idea. Okay, that works. Ah, <sighs> good old Mickey Mouse. Nate. What the heck? Nate. Watch Gods of Egypt. Are you my conscious or something? Um, yeah, totally your conscious. Um, okay, so why do I need to watch Gods of Egypt? Uh, I'll make your head wound go away if you agree to do it. Okay... Oh, hmm, you actually did, wow, there's nothing there. Okay, wow. Didn't expect that to happen. I guess I will just watch Gods of Egypt now. Here we go! <laughs> oh boy. Two hours later. Gods of Egypt is a movie that came out, I think, February earlier this year. It came out earlier this year. And, uh, it stars a bunch of people with names I can't pronounce and Gerard Butler. And it's basically about how Gerard Butler is basically the whole villain of this movie. And he caps- he, like, attacks a bunch of gods. There's, like, a god empire and stuff, and he, like, attacks the gods, and he's, like, starts to rule all over them. <laughs> and there's this street rat guy who's similar to Aladdin, and he has a girlfriend, but he steals her, and he wants to get her back, and he goes on an adventure to do that, basically. I mean, that's the gist of what I got from this movie. So guys, you may know that my pr plan this week was to watch a bunch of really bad movies, and I watched Norma the North yesterday, and now Gods of Egypt is what I'm watching now. I watched it earlier today, and... Yeah. <laughs> Basically what I thought going into Gods of Egypt is that earlier when I saw the trailers way before the reviews even came out, I was like, hey, maybe this could be a stupid, self-aware, fun movie, you know? Maybe it could be a movie that's self-aware and is able to have fun with itself. But then the reviews came out, 
I saw many reviews of people hating on this movie, and I was like, well, is it really that bad? I'm not surprised that it's bad, but that bad? And so I watched it, finally. And it is that bad. <laughs> Gods of Egypt is a train wreck, but it's so, so funny. Guys, this movie is a train wreck in every way. Everything in this movie fails on such a crazy level, but you can't help but laugh at this movie because of so many unintentional funny things that they had in this movie. The main thing that's wrong with Gods of Egypt is that it looks horrible. This entire movie, every single scene, the green screen is criminally obvious. It's insane. Like, there'd be a scene where Gerard Butler is, front of, is in front of a green screen, and the lighting on him is way different than the lighting on the background. It's like, were you even trying with this movie? Like, it's literally pretty much every scene in this movie, the green screen, is beyond bad. It's some of the worst green screen I've ever seen in my life. It's insane. Like, every single scene has terrible green screen. I'm not joking you. If you want to watch this movie and see if I'm telling the truth, watch this movie and every single scene will have terrible green screen and I will be correct because it does. Every scene in this movie has a pathetic, terrible green screen. Not to mention the CGI in this movie is trash. It's so horrible. It's like something that came out in the 90s. It's so, so pathetic. This movie reminds me of the prequels because they overuse CGI to an insane level. None of it looks good. It all looks like such trash and the green screen is so horrible and it's just so pathetic that none of it works. It's insane. I was constantly watching, mind blown by how terrible the special effects were in this film. Not to mention the acting in this movie. What the heck? Like, what? What was that? <laughs> None of these actors seem like they cared at all. They all seem like they were phoning it in for a paycheck. Like Gerard Butler, oh my gosh, like that guy. <laughs> He talks in this Scottish accent while the movie goes on and he's not even Egyptian. Like, they couldn't hire one Egyptian actor in this movie and Gerard Butler just keeps his... He, he keeps his Scottish accent in frickin' Egypt. Like, <laughs> they couldn't even hire one Egyptian actor to play a character in this movie and it takes place in Egypt. This is an Egyptian movie and there's not one Egyptian actor in this whole movie. And I mentioned earlier that there's an Aladdin ripoff, and yes, it's an insane Aladdin ripoff. This character is literally the exact same as Aladdin, except he's not interesting. He's not good. He's like Aladdin in the actual Aladdin movie was a very likable character. I very much enjoyed him in that movie. He was very nice, he was very kind, you understood him, you could relate to him. And this character is just nothing. He tries to be funny, and that fails. Everything about his character was just so bland. He was just... bad. He, the actor felt like he was phoning it in. I don't really know any of the actors in this movie, but there's also the guy who's blind and he has to get his eyeball back. I don't remember why that was even a thing, because I could barely pay attention to this stupid plot. But um, that actor was also so bored the whole time phoning it in completely, not knowing what he was doing. Elektra is also in this movie who did Daredevil Season 2! And she's so good in Daredevil and I really like her in that show, but in this show she's just... She doesn't know what she's doing. She's literally just phoning it in like every other actor. Joffrey Rush! What are you doing in here, man? I mean, you're such a good actor. I love you in a lot of movies like King's Speech and Pirates of the Caribbean and Finding Nemo, but in this movie, he's just... nothing. Throughout this movie, I was constantly, like, I was laughing because of how hysterically terrible this movie is. This movie is perfect for hilariosity. When the special effects are horrible, the acting's horrible, like, the, the plot is just dumb and stupid. And another thing I didn't mention was that the action looks terrible. It's slow motion, like, 80% of the time, and when it isn't slow motion, it's doing a crazy fast panning shot. And it's just like, it looks so bad. It looks so pathetic. Every action scene in this movie was just hard to watch because the visuals were so awful and horrible and pathetic that it was just hilarious. And the camera made my head hurt. The funny thing about this movie is that they actually tried to have some emotional scenes. 
They actually thought that they could get some emotional scenes out of this movie and some character depth, but they don't. It's so funny. That was by far the funniest thing about this movie is when they tried to get emotional scenes. I was just watching it just like, <laughs> Why are you trying to do an emotional epic scene? Alex Proyas, when he directed this movie, was way too serious because if this movie was self-aware, it might be a little better than it was. It'd probably still be terrible, but if it was self-aware and realized that it was a ridiculous, fun, crazy, purposely bad movie, then I would be able to tolerate it more, but no. Alex Proyas tried to make it serious. There is also some attempts at humor, and it's like, what are you doing? How is that humorous? I don't... I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get how that's humorous. Because this movie is a true hilariosity. This movie is hilarious from start to finish. It thinks it's like the big, grand, amazing epic, but it's not. It's so unintentionally hilarious, and it's just... But uh, I mean, even later in this movie, when I was having fun with the hilarious, hilarious, stupid things, I started to get really bored because things just got tedious and it got slow and the pacing in this movie is all over the place. I was having fun for a little bit at the time, but then towards the end, I was just like, okay, let this thing end. I'm going insane. Like literally towards the end of this movie, the best way I can describe it was that I was laughing hysterically and so happy and cheering because the movie was done and it was over, and I could live my life. I had to take several breaks from this movie. There was a new La La Land trailer that came out earlier when I was watching Gods of Egypt. I took a break to watch that, and Emma Stone's beautiful singing voice calmed me down. I'm obsessed with Emma Stone now because of that trailer, but uh, that, that's a different topic. It's a different topic. La La Land looks incredible, but I'm not talking about that right now. Gods of Egypt is incredible in every way that it shouldn't be incredible. It's incredible in all the ways that the filmmakers did not intend. And this movie is terrible, and I hate it, but it's hysterical, and I'm gonna laugh about this movie for years to come. Guys, I'm gonna give Gods of Egypt an F. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to watch my other bad reviews that have been coming out this week, like Norma the North, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I need to ask one question. Conscious, why did you do this to me? Uh, it actually wasn't your conscious, it was me the, the whole time. You! Why did you do this to me? I, uh, thought it would be funny. Uh, Wait a minute, how did you heal the wound on my head then? Oh, you know, maybe because the gun you shot yourself with was completely fake and you were fine the whole time. Hey, maybe we should collab on something next time? <laughs> now that you're here. Um, uh, yeah, sure, I guess. So what movie do you want to do? I wasn't done. I wasn't done talking. I'm supposed to do a movie. Where are you going?